5 rules in integration. The power rule. It gives us the indefinite integral of a variable raised to a power. Here is the power rule once more. The indefinite integral of ax raised to n is equal to a times x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. Suppose we want to find the indefinite integral of x cubed. Applying the power rule, we get The constant coefficient rule. It tells us that the indefinite integral of c times f of x, where f of x is some function and c represents a constant coefficient, is equal to the indefinite integral of f of x multiplied by c. We can express this formally as follows. Suppose we want to find the indefinite integral of the expression 5x squared. The constant coefficient rule tells us that the indefinite integral of this expression is equal to the indefinite integral of x squared multiplied by 5. Now, we just apply the power rule to x squared. The sum rule. It tells us how we should integrate functions that are the sum of several terms. It basically tells us that we must integrate each term in the sum separately and then just add the results together. We can express this formally as follows. Suppose we want to find the indefinite integral of the polynomial function f of x is equal to 6x squared plus 8x plus 10. Applying the sum rule, we get The difference rule. It tells us how we should integrate functions that involve the difference of two or more terms. It is essentially the same as the sum rule in that we must integrate each term in the sum separately. We can state this rule formally as follows. Suppose we want to find the indefinite integral of the polynomial function f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 18x minus 7. Applying the difference rule, we get... The sum, difference, constant, and power rule. Suppose we want to find the indefinite integral of 8x plus 4x cubed minus 6x squared. First, 
we need to apply the sum and difference rule. Second, we need to apply the constant coefficient rule. Lastly, we just have to apply the power rule. Then, simplify 